Ils sont incroyables ces gens. Si on débloque pas quelque chose de spécial encore. Oh Kai, what's up with the bandage? Oh, it's a little souvenir from our last mission. Don't worry, it only grazed me. It's not like you to get hit. You're normally so cautious. It was nothing but a stray bullet. Wasn't even meant for me. Guess it's just bad luck then. Anything can happen on the battlefield. Yep, pretty much. Then again, the fact that I'm the one who got hit is probably good luck. Why is that? It's easy to get first aid to snipers. We stick to the rear. Soldiers on the front lines aren't so fortunate. That's true. If the fighting drags on long enough, even a shallow wound like that could turn fatal. Huh, you're right. Wish there was a better way to get urgent care to the front line. Urgent uh. care? Wait, I think I know an order for that. Premier soin. Oui. Not bad, Claude. Not bad at all. This will give our troops a lifeline in case of emergencies. Good. On a un premier soin maintenant, débloqué. On va avancer jusqu'au prochain combat. Late July. The Federation has maintained its momentum. We're pushing ahead into Imperial territory. As our front line expands, we're running low on personnel and supplies, but mostly within projections. So long as we believe in victory, in our allies, and in ourselves, we can keep fighting. Les sous-épisodes sont marqués d'un astérix. Ce sont des histoires secondaires. Pas nécessaire de les regarder les sous-épisodes, vous avez entendu. Ok. Sauf cependant d'autres points de vue sur certains éléments couverts par l'histoire principale. Plus d'histoire, plus de cinématiques. All right, you bums, it's laundry day. If you got skivvies piling up, then hand them over. Uh... Oh, women put theirs in this bag. Don't worry, I'm taking it straight to Karen. Oh, thank God. I was worried I'd have to give mine up to Raz. <laughs> uh, who the hell would want your stinking undies? You never know with Raz. He's a real degenerate. <laughs> who else would try to sneak into a strip club at 10 years old? I got caramel. Wow, I remember that now. And they busted his adult disguise before he even got in. I can't believe I forgot. Publicly humiliated, wearing that stupid wig and high heels. I don't know if they busted him so much as he got too excited and passed out just outside the door. Wait, are you serious? That's even better. Look, you guys can think whatever you want, but I only did that on a dare, okay? Oh, well that changes everything. Clearly you're a badass. Oh, there you are, Riley. Do you have any clothes that need to be washed? I was just about to hand them off to Kai. Uh, oh, that's a relief. Why is that a relief for you? Well, I just... 
there was a commotion over here, so... Anyway, do you have enough clothes to last you? Huh? Yeah, I brought plenty with me, so I should be fine. On that note, I've been meaning to ask about your uniform. Oh, right. That isn't a standard issue Edinburgh uniform. Well, on paper I'm a grenadier, but my main job is more like a scientist. I guess I impressed someone with all the tech I worked on, because they made me an officer. But since I never went through the academy, I don't have much real authority. I'm like... an unofficial lieutenant? I see. They just didn't have an appropriate uniform to give you. Exactly. So I convinced them to let me design my own. Uh... C'est vrai que c'est vrai que pour le combat, c'est stratégiquement euh, très très utile. Under some issues with wearing that in battle? Like what? It's both practical and fashionable. Oh yeah. Even when we were kids, Riley's only ever worn skirts. Not even the army can make her wear pants now. Fais-toi attraper par le l'armée euh, d'en face et tu vas voir comment comment ça va se passer. If you're jealous, Claude, I'm sure we could find you a nice flirty skirt. <laughs> jealous? Uh, no, <laughs> Th that's not... <laughs> Come on, guys. I'll have the second one. They're crazy, these people! Ils sont fous. Claude? Claude? That's weird. He should be around here. Is that Riley? Uh, yeah. Where are you? Down here, under the Hoffman. Sorry, I've got my hands full. You mind if I work on this while we talk? Sure, that's fine. I just wanted to ask you something. <clears throat> this thing does not want to move. <clears throat> Ask me what? I've been thinking about adjusting my grenades. Come on, damn you. Yeah. Are you even listening? Uh, yep, I'm listening. Something about grenades? I'd like to try modifying them. I think it could give us some more options in combat. So, I was wondering if I could use some of the Hoffman spare parts? Déjà, il faudrait apprendre à lancer les grenades plus loin. Déjà, ça serait mieux. What do you think? Well, they seem friendly enough. I mean, on the surface. Wait, what? They can stand there and talk, but there's still a gulf between Ooh. them. Call it kind of a hunch. Yeah? You think they're that complex? Guess it's just woman's intuition. Except that I'm a man here. Don't forget it. Like there's any chance of that. Ah. Seriously? No guy's got an ass this tight. Oh. 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 oh, come on! What the hell was that for? I could ask the same of you. Are you serious? It was just a friendly butt tap between dudes. <laughs> well, would you looky here? That was a hell of a swing! Trust me, getting to tinker with these things is gonna be incredible. You're totally gonna love... What the... For real? Are those two seriously gonna fight right here? Wait, what? Who's gonna fight? Oh, sell you. What do you think? Raz and... <laughs> oh, my God. Raz and... <laughs> uh, no, Riley! I, I swear, I, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean... C'est un jeu sur la guerre. Sur la stratégie et la guerre. Euh, mais c'était drôle. J'avoue que c'était drôle. Man, those two really need to lighten up, huh? Mine was just an accident. Don't act like we're both guilty here. Hey, I'd kill to have an accident like that. Must have been one hell of a view. I got a pretty nice view of the sole of her boot. 
I'm just lucky she didn't have cleats. <laughs> we gotta watch our steps around those two. They don't take crap from no man. What's wrong? Crick in your neck? No. It's the wind. No, no, pas encore. On va se faire attaquer. A storm's coming. In one hour, with strong winds. We need to be careful. Ah, yeah, Monsieur Météo. So this bright, sunny weather is gonna turn to shit, huh? Merde, ah c'est vrai Goldo, j'aurais dû prendre des screens. Là, je vais le faire la prochaine fois. Ça serait que c'est du gros fan service, mais c'est marrant, enfin. Je... Whatever. How'd you even learn to do that anyway? Moi je trouve ça cool. When we were kids, you got rained on all the time, and you always cried about it too. Hmm. Did I? Probably more academy stuff, huh? You take some kind of meteorology course or something? Well, yes, but that's not quite the same. Yeah, this is something different. Ugh, that goddamn face again. Hmm? You got a smile like you're scared of something. It pisses me off. Uh, uh, I thought you were finally starting to grow out of it. Sorry. Oh mon dieu, les deux qui arrêtent pas. Claude, scouting duty in one hour. We'll need five soldiers from each squad. Ah, merci. <rire> Un peu d'action. Ouf. Hein? <rire> Understood. I'll join the team for squad E. Raz, you should come too. With a storm coming, I ain't going out in that shit. Raz. T'es sérieux? <rire> It's a joke, all right? Ah. I'll get my rain gear. Sale con. Good idea. I'll do the same. Combat! Yeah! for some nocturnal reconnaissance. Euh, patrouille dans la forêt de l'entrée de Scarecrow au nord. Ça fait un peu loin quand même. Le ravin sépare l'est de construire deux équipes. Le bois empêche le passage des chars. Le joindra donc race comme infanterie du côté ouest. On devrait tous deux atteindre la cible. On n'a pas le camp de votre disposition, alors choisissez bien votre artillerie de falaise. Rail et cage sont servis à la base, nous pouvons donc pas participer. Merde! Ok, 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 c'est pas top. Y'a qui là? Y'a Claude et Raz. Oh, on n'est pas en tank, non. <rire> C'est vrai, le Lenzo. Pas trop trop fan en fait du grenadier, je sais pas pourquoi. Let's go. 
Au revoir. That concludes the briefing. Now get into position. We'll start patrolling. Be careful out there, everyone. Man, you weren't kidding about the storm. How are we supposed to scout when we can't see anything? You have a point. It'll be hard to identify enemies like this. We'll just have to be extra careful. According to the map, there should be a clearing ahead. We'll head there first. The guys on the cliff should have a better vantage. They can scope things out before we forge ahead. Good idea, Raz. Let's make it happen. Got it. C'est parti. Qu'est-ce que c'est grand. On aurait dû peut-être on aurait dû changer l'équipement. This rain is bullshit, man. I can't see a damn thing. It's like our night battles back in training, right? Make up for poor visibility with extreme caution. Yay. Combat nocturne, visibilité réduite, la distance de détection des ennemis aussi. Alors donc du coup les snipers ne servent quasiment à rien, c'est cool. Restez vigilants et mobiles, soyez prêts à engager au combat rapproché. Oh il y a des mines. Les mines s'activent quand les unités marchent dessus et explosent quand elles quittent la zone. Les ingénieurs peuvent désamorcer les mines. Je dis que deux types de mines, anti-chars et anti personnel Les mines anti-chars ne se déclenchent pas contre l'infanterie. Explique-moi laquelle, la mine peut tout de même blesser l'ancien, regardez, la, Mais laquelle est quelle Bref. Ok. Fire support, ok. Bon, elle c'est Madame Tank. Je pensais qu'elle allait prendre moins de dégâts. Je pensais vraiment qu'elle allait prendre moins de dégâts. Eh ben, c'est moche. Understood. Fais select, putain, ça va plus vite. I got this. I hate thunderstorms. Can I do this? Arrête de faire ta pleureuse. Understood. 
Là, il devrait le tuer, non Quoique. Ça veut dire quoi, attaque surprise Ça veut dire qu'il va pas pouvoir me... Il va pas pouvoir contre-attaquer Bah bah merde, on l'a tué. Let's keep going. C'est beau ça. Yes. Non, on a bien avancé, je pense. Je vous, je vous, je vous, je vous. I got this. Allez, super héros, vas-y. Personne m'a vu. Est-ce qu'il y a un autre... Ouais, il y a un autre point, là. Ça sert à rien que je la joue elle en fait. Oh parfait. You're pretty good. Faudra un sniper en fait sur la position de droite. Over here. 
Ou pas. Ça passe. On va le faire passer sur la gauche. Sur la dernière balle. Très très bien passé encore une fois. On va utiliser Raz. Je dois sûrement en avoir un sur la gauche aussi. Je pense qu'on peut plus rien faire, il va falloir faire tout le tour. On a un peu overpower, je pense. Je crois qu'il y a un mec là, non Je vais jouer clone, mais je crois que c'est un peu une erreur. Comment on pourrait... se faire couper en rondelle là oh la vache finalement tu aimes bien scout Feel 
Enemies are hard to spot in the dark. Eyes open. Cupid's... Aha. Uh -huh. Going down. <rire> Neige, ramène tes fesses. Pas besoin de toi. Viola, on la reste, on la laisse, euh, on la laisse derrière. C'est pas grave. Trois. Waouh, esquive parfaite. <rire> Pas mal. Du coup, est-ce que vous pouvez tirer ensemble, s'il vous plaît T'es loupé Ah, on continue, pas grave. Plus de munitions. Oh la conne. Understood. There. All allies have been taken out. Plus qu'un. On fonce avec l'autre. C'était un peu limite, mais ça va. On est là. Yeah Merci pour le follow, Alone. Nothing unusual here. One more area to comb and we're done. I'm invincible. Man, it's freezing out here. Isn't this supposed to be summer? What gives? We're in a forest at night in the rain. On est dans une forêt dans la nuit, c'est normal qu'il pleuve, apparemment. Yeah, Donc rappelez-vous, n'allez jamais pendant la nuit dans une forêt. Sinon, il va right. I quit. Oh. Wait, you quit? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen you smoking in a while. I mean, more power to you, but why'd you stop? 
Excusez-moi, vous êtes toujours sur le champ de bataille. Faites pas attention. Oh hey, How could I forget? It was really coming down then, too. I was just teasing you like usual when out of nowhere you went off on me. I still have no idea why. I knew I had zero chance of winning. But no matter how many times I knocked you on your ass, you just kept getting back up. You were freaking me out. That's the only reason I started, you know, punching you for real. <laughs> Deux semaines à l'hôpital. Mais tu lui as pété toutes les côtes et tout, non Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé Yeah, You sort of knocked the life back into me. Claude. Yeah. Le ZM, on dirait un. C'est quoi, un lugger? Pistolet allemand. Yeah. 